Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark and I am so excited to introduce you to our brand new version of our letter banks. Let me give you a couple highlights about them and then I'll walk you through the file and how they work. First of all, they take just between one and about one and a half sheets of material on the average. Some of the letters are wider than others, like the W is really wide, uh, whereas some of the other letters don't take quite so much. But they don't take very much material to make at all, so therefore they're very inexpensive to make. You should be able to make these for around 4 to $5, at the very most 10 if you decide to use special materials like these. But they're very, very inexpensive to make, and they're a lot of fun. But let me show you a couple of the features. Uh, for one, they can hold several hundred coins, because you can make them pretty thick here. And they also, this is one of my favorite features, they now come with a sliding door on the bottom so you can easily get things out right here. You can make this out of wood, out of acrylic, whatever you want. And it has a little loop so that you could put a little padlock on this if you want. I've got a link to these in the description. Uh, they're really cute. There's little animals and things like that. Or you can simply just put a little T-shaped uh, stopper in there so that it doesn't easily come out. That's also an option. Again, you can choose to paint them whatever you want. You could add a name to one of the layers to further personalize it. I think you guys are going to love these. Oh, and there's one feature that only creators will really appreciate on this one. The bottom base is exactly the same for all 26 letters. Holes in the same place, slots are in the same place. So you edit one base and it works for all of them. You are going to love these. Let's jump in and talk about it a little further. All right, I've got the letter Q here to walk you through some of the options. And of course, all these are available for all the letters. You can do any of them or all of them or none of them, whatever you wish. I don't have all the pieces glued together here on purpose so I can show you how this works. So let's just start up here. You can take any one of the spacers and you can type out a name or words and attach it to it to give it personality. Like right here, I used a piece of orange translucent acrylic and I put Quentin on it. So this further personalizes this bank for whoever has it. So that's one option you can do. Of course, you can put it wherever you want to around the bank and you can use whatever material you want. You can paint it or use acrylic, whatever you desire. But that's one great way to really personalize these. Of course, also, you can use clear or colored or transparent. I like the fact that you can see through it because I think it's important to be able to see the money that's inside. But again, that's up to you. Of course, we've also got the door that comes out right here, just like that. And you'll see that there's a long end there that has a hole in it. And that is made to be able to put either a lock or just a T-shaped thing that's, that's included in the file over there so that it doesn't just fall out there. And I'm going to tip this very uh, gently because this is not glued together. I'll show you in just a minute. But that way you can get all the money out there from the bottom very, very easily. Let's pull these apart here. I'll talk about this first. So I talk about this in the file section also. But the length of this tab is 0.69 inches. And that is so that it goes through all three of these layers of the base. Make sure that whatever material you use, it's thick enough that three of these end up 0.69 or more. If it's not, you'll need to shorten that tab so that it doesn't stick out the bottom. Also, again, I talk about this in the file video, but you're going to want to use either six or seven layers here, depending on how thick your material is. For example, here in the office, I've got some MDF that's 0.25, like straight up quarter inch. I've got some others that's 0.21. And so on the 2-1, I need to add an additional spacer here to get this wide enough because this slot right here in the bottom, it needs to be able to reach and cover this whole area here so that when you flip it up, all the money can come out there and you don't see the slot here. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that when you stack all these together, that it's at least, and you, this is in the notes also, 1.3 inches so that it covers all of this, all right? So just make note of that. Make sure that you are using material that will total 1.3 inches or more when you stack these together, and then you'll be in good shape. All right, let's take a look real quick at the base itself and how it goes together. Again, I don't have this uh, glued together, just so I can show you how this works. There's three layers on the base. 
This is always fun. You can use pattern ply here from Smoky Hill Designs if you want. You can paint it, whatever you'd like to do there. So the top piece is here. And then all three pieces have the same slot through it right there. The second piece has three pieces. It's got the door. Make sure that this door isn't thicker than the other pieces, otherwise it won't slide. What I recommend, uh, I've used acrylic for this, and I found that the acrylic is thinner than the wood, so it easily slides in there. And then you've got these two L-shaped pieces here, and they glue just parallel to this line and this line, and that creates the slot that this slides in just like that. And of course, then the bottom piece, you've got an open slot like that. So you've got these three that glue together just like this, and then the top of the bank, the, the tab slides in just like that. And your door slides in like that.